Do -do 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 We're in my bedroom. Oh my goodness, it's been a while. Welcome. Of course, of course, I've got my water. I actually just had to run down and go and get it because I was like, uh-uh, we are not getting dehydrated in here. We don't do that here, okay? <laughs> mm. Okay, good. I'm ready. Hi, my name is Scholar, and you deserve to wear anything that makes you feel good, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be trying on clothes that I am too scared to actually wear outdoors. Today I'm actually gonna pull some pieces from my wardrobe, closet, whatever you wanna call it, and just try them on and see how I feel in those pieces of clothing that I actually feel like I can't wear because I feel insecure about them for various different reasons and I'll be talking through those insecurities and how I'm going to be overcoming them. Clothes are such a big part of how we feel about ourselves and our bodies. If you've ever tried on a piece of clothing that's unflattering or too small or just not like just ill-fitting you feel so crappy after that and I think it's so important to have clothes that make you feel comfortable and empowered and make you feel like yourself because it's such a great way of of expressing yourself but I'm not a fashionista just so you guys know like I'm really not <laughs> anyway guys before I get into trying on all the bits if you like my vibe if the energy feels right make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when I do upload and do leave a cheeky comment down below let me know which one's your favorite outfit and if there's anything you avoid wearing because you just feel like ugh in them <laughs> okay so the first outfit I'm already wearing it so I actually got this outfit last year and I don't think I've actually I've not worn it in its entirety and I've not worn it out anywhere I'm genuinely thinking it was all in my head I just felt like it was tight and not flattering so this outfit is actually from bow and tee and it's this lovely gorgeous like active wear set once I tried them on I think it must have been a bad day and I just didn't feel good in them. But now that I'm wearing it, I feel really good in this. Like, the reasons why I felt insecure about it is first of all, shorts in general. If they're not cycling shorts, I feel insecure because of the back of my thighs. I'm standing in direct sunlight so you can properly see my cellulite. I always have, I'll try and find a clip of when I was very small, um, at a much lower weight and body fat percentage with very high muscle mass as well and I still had cellulite on the back of my thighs. There's no escaping it, it's always gonna be there. I feel really good about this, okay? Okay, and like lately, cause I've gained a little bit of weight, I've had like this little pooch here. So these shorts like don't necessarily like suck you in, which isn't the end of the world because I actually feel way more comfortable in these shorts than like some of my others that are like squeeze and then so it actually looks more unflattering whereas this is actually so flattering anyway i feel like i'm talking way too much my insecurities would have been the back of my thighs and then just having a tight fit on the top at the same time but i feel really good about this outfit and i feel like i could definitely go out for a walk even today in this outfit and feel good like i could just be walking down the street with like some black trainers and feel amazing so that is outfit number one. Okay, here she is. Here she is. Before we get into this dress, Teddy Blake have kindly sponsored this section of the video and I have such a gorgeous bag to show you guys. So this bag will go perfectly with this outfit. I'm actually going to scream like, I can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, look at the mini little dust bag. It's so cute, okay. Here we are. Ah! Crazy, crazy. Oh, I left the tags on it and everything so I could show you guys as it comes. But this is the Ava Lizard Gold 9 inch bag in black and it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. So I've actually worked with Teddy Blake before. Let me show you the bag that I got last time. So real quick, I've still got the dust bag as well because <laughs> you know, gotta keep it protected. So this is the first bag I got from Teddy Blake. I decided to go for black simply just because it will match everything. And I don't actually have a black little bag at the moment. I broke one of my other ones, like the strap came off cause it was just like poorly made. I got it like from a cheap website. So it's really nice to have a really high quality bag. Like this is gorgeous the hardware is amazing it's all gold hardware as well look at her look at what she looks like oh it's gorgeous let me just open it 
and show you the inside as well that's the inside it's got a strap as well just like the other bigger one it's got a little strap that you can put on it i feel like this is the perfect size because some small bags are too small and i can't even fit my phone in it i've got my phone here and look at that like there's so much space but it still feels like a really cute mini bag that i can wear everywhere i could even wear this on a night out as well like going out to dinner but oh my goodness okay i've got my phone in there let me take it out but they do have so many amazing designs different shapes different sizes like even this would come in a bigger size if you want that as well like honestly gorgeous so i'll leave all the details down below for you guys to go and check it out i'm so happy with this bag honestly it's perfect and of course a moment for the dress the sun is coming out as well it's getting super bright all of a sudden but i just thought this bag would go perfectly with this dress that i do feel a little bit insecure wearing lately it is like a mesh dress so it's not see-through but like you sort of get like a silhouette of what's going on underneath it's ruched it's off the shoulder and it is everything so i absolutely love this dress but i've just been so insecure to wear it like i just haven't felt good enough just because it's so form-fitting like literally every part of your body is on show and i'm just surprised it still fits like my weight has fluctuated so much but i love that the dress still fits comfortably i mean i can't put my arms up but i don't think i could have done that even when i was a little bit smaller but yeah i think i just felt a bit insecure because i'd gained weight since i first got it and wore it it's funny that it just still fits it's so funny because now i probably would go on the website and go for a bigger size not knowing that even this size still looks good if that makes sense do you see what i mean do you see what i mean about this bag it just goes with absolutely everything i thought i'd just show you guys what it looks like with this dress gorgeous perfect this dress i got it from i think i got it from plt i'm not sure it's like just a simple dress and i'm really not a dress person i think that's what it is like a lot of dresses i don't feel the confidence to wear them this one is actually really kind of hard to talk about because it's an insecurity i've had for a while and it's one of the only insecurities i've seriously considered changing like something on my body i've wanted changed like cosmetic surgery and like <laughs> that's a whole thing to unpack but it's my boobs i don't really like showing off my boobs like feel like a lot of the time you see perfect perky boobs that sit in the right place and you know you see a lot of that whereas like mine are a bit on like the saggier side and sometimes they're not like super full or whatever especially compared to like my lower half I just feel like it's not the same if that makes sense but that being said i feel really good in this dress and it's such a silly insecurity to have and i feel like the more of us that just embrace our body and just show it off like i think the first time i wore this out i did wear it with a bra whereas like i feel really comfy just going braless like it feels so much more comfortable and i've been pushing myself to do that more often these days and just not feel insecure about the fact that my titties just be sagging a little bit more they just be sagging a little bit more than some of these perky titties that you'd be seeing. One of the hardest things about having a big bum is just dresses riding up. So with this dress, it's just a sit down dinner dress now. Like I did go out in it, but like constant pulling your dress down is annoying. That's the one good thing about the celeb boutique one. I keep going celeb boutique. The House of CB one, it has silicone around here and it was like super tight. So it was not gonna be riding up. So I really liked that. Um, but obviously this is a bit of a cheaper dress. So it just, it's not gonna have those elements, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I have had this skirt for over a year now and I've never worn it out and I'm not proud of that, but I keep, it in my closet because i just feel like one day i'm going to wear it like i am gonna wear it out <laughs> that material that really clings to your stomach but you know what i feel really good about it regardless like i still feel amazing in it um i just felt like kind of insecure about this area but you know what this little area is so sexy it is cute like i haven't purposely styled everything to go with this bag it just so happens to go with all of like the night sort of outfits i had going but i feel like it looks good with this whoa 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 okay so this outfit 
is a lot for me but also it's within my comfort zone so I've got these trousers that I got from TK Maxx last winter and they're just like flared which I really like like I love flared trousers I feel like because skinny jeans are out these have been like my alternative to skinny jeans because I still like the form fitting but then I'm still kind of feel like I'm on trend with the times with the flares of course you don't have to be on trend like wear whatever makes you feel good but also it's just really hard to find good skinny jeans these days so i'm just like okay i'll go for the flares <laughs> these trousers right i absolutely love them but because they're a lighter color i always tend to avoid lighter color bottoms even when it comes to like active wear i tend to avoid it because you tend to be able to see more of what's going on and through these you can actually see my cellulite a little bit it's so funny because like on days where I don't feel good I feel like I really exaggerate my insecurities way more and so that I think when I first wore these I felt way more insecure about myself so I must have viewed it way more dramatically but part of the reason I'm filming this video today is I feel good I feel better in my body because I've been really putting in that work to learn to accept myself so I'm like so what if it's like not perfectly smooth like no one is meant to be perfectly smooth like 80 to 90 percent of women have cellulite my titties have have grown quite a little bit they're a little bit bigger than I am used to again because I've just gained a little bit more weight but also it's about to be that time of the month so they're just looking a little bit juicier than usual so I wouldn't really usually feel comfortable having like this much cleavage unless like I'm going out or doing something like that so I think that's probably why I feel a bit insecure like when I first got this it wasn't as booby but I got this from a shop called We Are Cow here in Birmingham it's in Digbeth it's actually like recycled so I really like that like this used to be like one of those like Hawaiian style shirts and they turned it into this cute crop top but everything was like one size fits all and I just had my fingers crossed and I was like whatever I love these cute little tops I have another one that's a similar style yeah I think I just feel a bit insecure because it is super cropped like it's basically like a bra level but I still feel really good like on a night out this much cleavage isn't that bad like if I paired this with some heels went to dinner did a little bit of dancing at a bar I'd feel cute. I mean, this top is definitely more of like a daytime top. It's more of like a casual thing, but I could definitely like dress it up with some jewelry, like a nice necklace or something. But maybe if I wore this with a bralette, just so it's not so booby. I don't know if that's like taking away from like the whole trying to overcome my insecurities, but you guys let me know what you think. I do think it's a bit much. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was the last outfit for you guys today I honestly don't have many clothes I just did a huge clear out so a lot of the stuff that I knew I definitely didn't feel comfortable in or barely wore I already like donated it to charity so I already did that so I always highly recommend if there's any clothes that trigger you and actually make you feel really really bad about yourself get them out just donate them sell them if there are some clothes that are too big on you now they're too small on you now and you feel bad about it and you're like oh I'm just gonna work hard and get my body back or whatever and uh, so I can fit into them just please remember that your clothes should fit you not the other way around okay you shouldn't be fighting to fit into your clothes now I completely get using clothes as motivation to achieve goals that's something I've definitely done and even spoken about here on my channel but I've learned that that can be a little bit damaging I can feel really negative at times as well so just wear what makes you feel good and get clothes that make you feel good and all that good stuff <laughs> but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video I definitely want to do a haul soon um, and get pieces that are a bit more out of my comfort zone and continue to push myself and get myself wearing stuff that I avoid because I'm a little bit insecure but at the end of the day it would actually feel really good on me and make me feel good about myself don't forget to check out Teddy Blake all the links all the information will be down below in the description box but anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video I'll catch you in the next one bye